Good morning, everyone. Hello, hello. <sighs> okay, I have my camera up a little higher this time. So if you heard a noise, that was me reaching back to my chair to sit down. So we've got so much good stuff going on today. <sighs> oh, let's see where we're at. Okay, a little, a little light adjustment here. Un momento. Okay, you may notice that my uh, big shot is in the picture. That's because we're going to use it today. Yes, yes, yes. So let's get her organized. I am organized. I'm just kidding you. <sighs> okay, so card number one. Let's get right to it. Card number one. You've seen this before. We're going to use Rooted in Nature. This is, there's two stamp sets in this. We're using the, or two, two packages like this. And uh, we're going to be using this stamp today. I know. It's like, what? <laughs> and this color, which is called Mossy Meadow. And I don't think I've actually used it in a video until right now. I just noticed one of my lights isn't on, so let's turn that on too. Let's go for the whole enchilada. Get everything lit up here. There we go. Just in case I couldn't see <laughs> at all. Uh, second color, Mary Merlot, which is perfect with that. Uh, I'm going to do some die cutting, and we're going to do some stamping, and some embossing. So much fun. Now, let's shift things over just a bit, and hopefully... Wait, you know what? Hey, I have an idea. Oh, I'm so full of ideas. Let's not have the whole pad of this out. Let's just have one, then I can put my noise. There we go, then I can put my Big Shot right on top of that. <clears throat> I, have, I still have my morning frog. Bad me, I haven't had time to sing this morning. <laughs> Shall we? No. Alrighty. So, get back to it. That stamp set. I think, er, this. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I know what I should tell you. This, like again, this is what we're going to be using. And I I noticed somebody somewhere had posted this, probably on the demonstrator uh, uh, demonstrator board on Facebook, that this is new, as far as I know, right here, if you can see this, there's a line. And that helps you line up your paper. So it's straight, yes. So, so now this is a pattern that I don't think really needs total lining up, but let's do it anyway. Oh yes, how about I tell you what the name of this is? That would be handy. The name of this embossing folder is called Climbing Vine, which kind of makes sense when you see it. And I already have the standard, well this says multi-purpose platform. So I have that one set up and I also have my magnetic one right nearby because right nearby? I don't think that's proper English. All right, anyway, so as always, you make your sandwich. So I already know that I need this at the very bottom, I think. <laughs> one plate on the bottom, your embossing folder with your paper inside. And by the way, see this is the open end this is the closed end. The closed end goes through first. And set that all up. And through the big shot. Honestly, I think... I, I had my big shot for a very long time. Very long time. And you can... I don't think these are really this first set of plates as I may have previously announced. <clears throat> but... They, uh, they're still going strong, so... Um, but I don't know, like before I got my Big Shot, my cards were pretty. But now, when you have the opportunity to put like a simple texture on the card, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Okay, I don't need that embossing folder again. Oh, and that one just dropped on the floor. Huh, my bad. Okay, next we're going to do a little stamping. So I have two different things I'm going to stamp, and apparently I have taken the one thing that I need and set it aside somewhere. Bet me. I will find it. I know where it is. I think I know where it is. Wait a minute. 
It's right here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sandy, Sandy, Sandy. What is this world coming to? So you may have guessed that since we're using Mary Merlot and Mossy Meadow, there's the Mary Merlot again, that that's the same color inks we're going to be using. So who's first? Oh, you know what? And you know how I usually have these set up on blocks ahead of time? I do not have them. Oh, and I had someone ask me, how do you store them? Your blocks. Like so. Um, just a simple carrying case. I've got access to them all. This is one from a paper pumpkin. So why, might as well get the right sizes out. I think I'm going to use need. Uh, no. Do I already have it out? Oh, I do. <laughs> I think this is the one I need. I do think so. So anyway, you know, what I can do with those is just set them aside. Anytime I need them, I just reach over and get them. All right. Yeah, it's in here. So it's this one, thinking of you. I'm not, because this is a circle, I'm not putting a lot of thought into um, getting it straight on the block. And then the other one is the leaf. 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 I can't, honestly cannot blame my braces for every, every stumble. <laughs> well, I could. Not going to, but I could. So anyway, back to it. I know, stay focused, Sandy, stay, stay focused. Okay. Okay, let's ink that up. That should be plenty. So, I am inking and doing a second. So I've used the, the stamp twice with one, one little bit into the ink. And why not, right? I don't want it all to look the same. And by the way, there is a reason for me going around this and you'll find out what that is very shortly. Well, in a little further than I would like. But for the purpose of a video, we continue. Whoop, don't ink again. There, and I am gonna need that again. So, let's get her clean. Now, I hadn't completely closed this case which is okay. And it kind of, it got a little dry, so I just rinsed it under the tap and gave it a squeeze to get out excess uh, ink that I didn't need. And uh, it's right back to the way it should be. So it will dry out and that is, honestly, that is no biggie at all. At all. Okay, you. And close. Next. Okay. Next is the Merry Merlot and the Thinking of You. I know these, as much as I, I can open these no problem, some of the colors that I haven't used as much, and uh, this is the second time I've opened Mossy Meadow, to my recollection I could be wrong. Um, I did in my sample, of course. Now remember, there's two ways of doing this. You can do it like that as well. I just want to make sure I've got lots of ink on there. Which I should, because it's a brand new stamp set. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to kind of aim for the center because if I brought the if I have the right uh, die, this should be perfect. And beautiful, inks beautifully, beautifully. Okay, I don't think I need that stamp again. So let's make sure I got the right. I did the right um, die. So this is from the layer, no, 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 no. Stitched Shapes Framelits. And I can't say that fast, no, I cannot. So I'm gonna need the big shot again, but this time the magnetic platform. So that goes in first, and then the plate, paper, and right like that. Beautiful. So a little bit, let's see if you can see that. I think you can. A little bit is cut off and that's okay. Uh, it might not be actually because of the stitching that goes around this and you'll see that in a moment. And through. Okay, now to get these out, go around. Because again, this has the stitching, so the stitching kind of goes into the paper. 
and just go around and ta-da there you go beautiful we're gonna use that again so let's keep that handy and let's just let's see yep move that off to the side for a moment and start some assembly it's that quick yes it is um da -da 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 -da. i think this one's three by three. Oh, i beg your pardon it is not three by three what's this one then Ah, three and a quarter, so this is three and three eighths. Okay, just a little bit bigger, not too much bigger. And did I not get my glue out? Apparently not. It's this one. All right, assembly time. Oh, this is the fun part, so I can chitter chat. Aha, okay, this one's, <laughs> this one's new. While I'm assembling, um, I am going to do the, the happy mail draw after this card, so bear with me. Okay, using that wiggle time, and I got a bit of glue on my fingers, so making that go away. There. Nice. And the base of the card, which is right here. And let's glue this. Why does everything look so crooked? That just drives me crazy. You know that. Well, if you ever want to drive me crazy, have things not straight. I don't know how you know my secrets. My deepest, darkest secret. No, that's not my deepest, darkest secret. Never mind. Okay. And onto the paper. Up or down? That does not make a difference. Okay. And I believe I left a slightly larger than usual. There. Slightly larger than usual border, just so I could see more of that beautiful... Mary Merlot. You know what I was going to do? Show you a comparison. Do I have it handy? I do not. Wait. Oh, no. Well, there's here's Fresh Fig. You can see how the color looks different. And I wanted to show you, oh, if I can find it quickly. Is that it? I don't think so. No, that's not it. Oh, if I can find it quickly. I have this little rollout thing right beside me. Oh, I was going to show you a comparison, but you can see how lovely and it's got more red in it than obviously the fresh fig that has more purple in it. So ta-da, there you go. So there's that part and there's that part. And wait, there's going to be ribbon. Mm-hmm, gotta have ribbon. And which means you gotta have scissors. Hello, yes, I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna put this. I had an idea, I had an idea, but I don't have a sample. Do I have my, yes I do, my dimensionals do some popping up. I like things popped up. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. did you notice, you probably have, that uh, if you've looked at the, like scroll down a little bit, you'll see that I have a, um, a prize, a month end prize up for grabs that is for posting pictures of your cards on uh, on my group. So go ahead and post your pictures. I'm not putting that on yet, not till I think of what I'm doing. Let me just, let me just set that gently. How are we gonna do this? Just wanted a little bit of ribbon, not, you know, not a ton, just a little bit. Let me think, let me think. Oh, and I could have it go this way too, you know. I could, that would be a little bit more ribbon. Hmm, I'm gonna do that. Change of plans. Okay, which means if I can find it easily in the drawer, the drawer full of everything. Okay, so sometimes we just do this on the fly. Wee-haw. <gasps> Two people are watching me? Awesome. Thank you. Always appreciative. Always, always, always. Let's just go with like that. So. Oh, don't stick to my paper. No. <laughs> yeah. If you set it the opposite direction, that won't happen. Look at all the handy hints I have for you. Yes, do not. Never fails that something cool always 
I'm going to call it cool. Something always happens during my videos. Um, and those might not be the right scissors. Those are not my Stampin' Up! scissors. I'll probably cut that one also, but let's get this placed first. Just kind of a, a nice little way of putting the ribbon on the card. You know, without, if you didn't want to make a bow or you were just wondering how exactly you were going to do that. Okay, I can cut that a tad better and I will after the video. Ay <laughs> caramba, almost done. Well, we're going to do a little inside, of course, because, you know. There we go. Okay. And there. Now you can see why I went around the edges with that. I like it. Okay. Let's bring that back in. And, oh, the stamp set that I cleaned. And I just want to do a couple on the inside. Nothing huge. You know, nothing huge. But same as before, same as before, except they're all going to be stamped off. Just a little bit lighter on the inside. And actually, I like that. Let's leave it at that. Not too much, not too little. Just right. Still crooked. Drive me crazy. Okay. Okay. Now we know. I'm crazy. No, I'm not crazy. I'm being driven crazy by my own. Right, it's not straight. There we go. Just around the edges. You don't need a ton. And, like I said, I like to start with the outside edge, place it down, and just, there we go. Ta-da! All done, card number one. Now, okay, again, I'm going to drive me crazy. Let's have some different scissors. Because I, I should have, I don't know, like three or four pair in the drawer. Maybe even my Stampin' Up! ones that had a, <laughs> something stuck to them. Let's do that a little bit. Stop! Do that a little bit better. Do it a whole lot better. It moved on me. Don't move. Ah, okay, that too. Okay, that one's straight for now. Ugh. No, I need my scissors sharpened badly. Badly. Badly? Card number one. Done. Let's go to card number two. Actually, no. Hold the phone. Remember what I said? We're doing the draw next. As soon as I clean this. Okay, so just a reminder. When you share my videos, whether it be the Tuesday or the Friday, or both, share both, feel free, um, you are entered into my weekly draw for Happy Now. That's all it takes. And there it is. Okay. And as a reminder, you have till the end of July to post your pictures. You know, and don't be shy. Don't be shy. We've had one person post, and that's wonderful. There will be more. There will be more. Okay, here's our winner. Our winner is Darlene. Hey, Darlene. You won last week, too. So guess what? <laughs> you have more happy mail coming. Awesome. Way to go. And thank you for sharing. Let's go right into card number two, okay? Now, it's it's similar to card number one, except I used real bright, happy, happy, happy colors. Not that the other ones weren't happy. These are just happier. So, Lemon Lime Twist, which you know I love. Berry Burst, Wee Haw. Uh, friendly Expressions, we're going to use Thanks for All You Do. And this is one of the uh it's and it's embossing folder but it's a thicker one um of course i forget what exactly the thicker ones are called but anyway it's called ruffled which is pretty cool everything i need is in here because i wanted to make sure open make sure i had everything also going to use that same kind of ribbon ah the last ribbon by the way was called textured weave and it's uh that was gray granite 
And this one is the same, but this is Granny Apple Green. Yes, I'm mixing my colors. Oh, man. Really? You can do that? Yes, you can. So, and, oh, I forget. This polka dot, polka dot, polka dot, polka dot, polka dot, tool ribbon. I'm going to see if I can add that in there as well. I don't completely have that planned, but I'm going to give it a shot. How does that sound? Okay, let's... Let's ditch one pair of scissors, because we don't need both here. Okay, so I've already cut the base, as you can see, and that is the Berry Burst. For some reason, I thought I was using Lovely Lipstick, but, you know, I think that was my original plan, and I changed it. And I have my inside piece cut as well. But, you know what I do need? I need my Lemon Lime Twist base long pardon me I do that a lot I push it instead of turning now with this particular thicker dynamic that's what it's called dynamic embossing folder it is thicker so I'm going to take the magnetic plate off switch it out for the multi-purpose platform so with this you don't need all your plates okay you need the bottom one and then you put your embossing folder in with your paper. Does this one have a line? No, nope, but that's okay. So just eyeball it basically. Eyeball it a little better. Is that in the frame? Mostly, mostly. I can move it over. Okay. And again, you do not need the top plate. So just start rolling it through. Now, I believe that's that's it. My understanding is you can you can spritz the paper first for a deeper image, and I totally forgot to do that. So that's not gonna happen. So let's get rid of a couple things and put this one back in because we're gonna need it. So I will show you how that looks. A couple different angles so you can see. The ruffling. That's just really cool. I like that a lot. And what else? Oh, how about some stamping? That would come in handy. I think I'm missing something on this, but maybe not. <laughs> Isn't that sad? Oh, so sad. There. I was like, what did I do with my block that I wanted to use? And I just inked my finger. I'll use the same block as last time. And... I'm going to bring back the leaf and go from there. So, oh, oh no, I have it. Okay, so this is Berry Burst, and this is the older style, so you still need to flip these ones. And was I going to do this first? Mm, no, I was not. No, I was not. Leaves first. Leaves first. This is the older type as well. These are last year's in colors. Two of them anyway. Okay, so same thing. Ah, now, I just want to see how far, you know what? Some darker, some lighter. Mm, let's do this one, and then go lighter, and do this one, and go lighter, and I have a spot for one more. I believe that's what I wanted. <laughs> And if I didn't, that's okay, too. Okay. And put this through the big shot. And it's the same stitched label. Oh, wait a hold the Hold the fort. Somebody maybe forgot to stamp that first. Now, I just read this yesterday. Hopefully, oh, don't get a halo because I really did that a lot. So that's, yeah, that is. And let's go right there. And holding. Okay. It's not hopefully going to matter that it's off center and um, hopefully not. And if it does, then I will just do it again. Because, you know, we need to please, you know. Okay, now bring the big shot back in. And 
on we go make sure that's in in frame for you there we go and right through the big shot so you can you kind of get the idea that this is an awesome awesome tool to have and I don't know I assume but I'm not 100% sure that you know about the the current special from Stampin' Up let's see what we got here which is uh, you get 10 free stamp pads ink pads in a color family and in the case of the ink colors you get last year's ink colors and this year's ink colors which is pretty awesome because you get all the brand spanking new colors and these can go away which is cool so for and that's $135 $135 and you get $165 in product there's the inside of the card no tax no shipping and $92.25 in stamp pad so that works out to $257.25 for $135 and in that of course if you wanted your big shot you can get your big shot oh you know what oh I'm so bad I forgot oh no I didn't no I didn't okay I went ahead and used one of the layering circles and already cut that out with the layering circle which conveniently fits like so well that was expected wasn't it and oh yeah that's the inside of the card and we don't want to forget that so if I put that real handy I will remember it's funny you have it all kind of planned out and then you get doing your video and you get yip yapping like me and then you kind of forget <laughs> to say stuff so Oh, of course. Now let me just think because I'm using ribbon. Zzz. I'm trying to. I haven't actually thought of how I was going to use them, but I have an idea. Yeah, I have an idea. So, let's go ahead. It doesn't seem to be a front or back to this one. So, you know the embossed and the debossed sides. All right. Now, one other thing while I'm, did I get that one? Maybe a little more up in the corner. I want my corners to stick, right? I don't want your corners peeling up because you forgot to put glue at the edges. There. Um, the other thing is the buy three, get the fourth free in the, with the designer series paper known as DSP. There we go. And you use again that wiggle time. There we go. Place that exactly. There you go. Ta da! Alrighty. So, like I said, I have an idea. So let's see if it, let's see if that works. I kind of wanted to, I want to use both. Sometimes when I use this, well, you can see that, but I thought it would look pretty on top of that. So. Again, let's see if it works. Oh, and I had one more element I was going to add. Oh, yes. These little guys. These are the uh, basic, they have adhesive, a basic adhesive backed sequins. This is just one of the five colors that it comes in. Something like that. Something like that, which means I'm going to need a glue dot. If I don't like this, I'll just change it, you know. <laughs> so, it's so funny. I have right here, I have glue on my finger, which is sticking to me. You know what I'm looking for now? Did I put it away? Of course I did. Well, we're going to pop this up. Pop it up, pop it up. Oh, now that will be the dog. The door is shut. That sounds like my son is home. Yep. That's the barking. Must protect the house. Must protect. 
Okay, so that's going to go about there, and that's going to go about there. So, and I may cut those ends, no doubt, no doubt I'm going to. So let's go here. <laughs> I know, if I did it the way it was suggested, this wouldn't happen. So let's see, this is the way it's suggested. Okay, ready? Get rid of that little end because I didn't need it. Okay, which is you press onto, press, and it's right there. The only thing is because it's thin ribbon, it's stuck to my finger too. I find so many things humorous. Yep, I'm definitely going to cut those down just a bit. Just a bit. Just a bit. Like about that bit. Okay, so anyway, let's continue. And, you know, I think I wanted to go the other way with that. I did, too. No! Now I've made it shorter. It's funny how I think of things after the fact. I don't know about you, but I am... I am an afterthinker. I am after thinking all the way. Do, 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 do. Yes, I like that better because then I can do this one. A little shorter right there. I just like the little polka dots, just a little bit of extra. And then let's use some of these. So with it being adhesive back, all you have to do Peel them off. Now I use my fingernail. Other people will use scissors and you can also use, see if it, I've never used it. I always use my fingernail so it would go under, there we go. And let's see, remember that I want to make a little triangle as always. Always a triangle. There we go. Triangle. I don't, I don't want to over embellish, you know. Not too much. Now, before I forget, I'm not going to need friendly expressions. That is what I, yep. Good memory, eh? It's almost scary. I do think about it, though. I do think about why I forget stuff so much. Did you hear that? Yeah. Okay, stamping off. Ooh, didn't stamp off. You rebel. You rebel, you. Well, in that case, I'll do another one darker over here. Yeah. I like that. Now, you could do it this way, too, by the way. Have the leaves coming down. I just I just want them at the bottom. So, so be it. You know, they're at the bottom. And let's finish assembling that. Which would mean, open the card... I think for a card like this with thank you, you're obviously going to write in here. So once again, I'm not putting anything else on the inside. So if you, by the way, have any questions, leave a question in the comments. I will answer those. And if you're thinking that you might want to go for the sign up deal, let me know and I can help you with that. Same with the, the designer series paper. I believe, since I had made that oopsie, I believe I listed which which papers they are. Because I had made a little oops. And that happens. Here, get rid of that. We don't. I'm still using it. I still use my grid paper. There you go. Two not difficult cards made super simple using the big shot. And it just just adds something to it, doesn't it? I'm happy. And when I'm happy, well, what can I say? I'm just kidding. Anyway, that's all for now. Uh, remember to share. And I will see you once again on Friday. Bye-bye.